You know what bothers me? Daylight Saving Time Whiners. Look, Daylight Saving Time is kind of annoying, no doubt about it. But the amount of carping it reliably produces twice a year, first when it begins and again when it ends, is so vastly out of proportion to the size of the inconvenience, it reminds me of like, did you ever give a preschooler a candy bar and he melted down and threw a fit because he wanted to open it himself? That's what anti-daylight saving time complainers are like. The whining is large, but the problem is small. If you can even call it a problem, it doesn't really register as one in any scheme of things broad enough to include a second problem. Here's what you have to do for daylight saving time. Change your clocks. This is not a very big deal. We do it other times without totally losing our shit. When we travel or after a power failure, for example, and you don't even have to handle this personally all that much in the modern world, as more and more of our timekeeping takes place on phones and computers and other machines smart enough to just take care of this step on their own. Then what? Maybe you get a bit less sleep, if you're totally disorganized. But with exceptions for people with serious illnesses, an hour more or less sleep should not be the decisive factor that throws your whole life into disarray and makes you start missing appointments and losing track of where your kids are and breaking down in tears while you're trying to order at Arby's. If it is, start turning in earlier. Plan an afternoon nap. Give up Game of Thrones or something. Get your shit together. But daylight saving time has outlived its purpose, people will whine. It's a drain on the economy. It doesn't make sense in today's 24-hour world. And I'm not even saying they're wrong. But I will say, in defense of DST, one thing it does accomplish. With the whining it inspires, it helps the rest of us identify the most easily overwhelmed among us. Those least reliable, with the worst frayed nerves on whom we should not depend for contributions to the group project at school or for a ride to the airport. It's like a little bit of fluorescent scorpion venom injected into the body of society, lighting up the worst parts so we can cut them out of our lives. Then again, bitching and moaning about petty shit instead of just dealing with it. Well, I can see the appeal of that too, I guess. Maybe it bothers me more than it should. <laughs>